In this video, we are going to model onion skin weathering. It's a physical type of weathering where rock gets very, very hot in the daytime and that heat is focused on the outside of the rock, causes those um, particles in the rock to um, take up more space. We say the rock has expanded. And then at nighttime, it gets very, very cold and those particles take up less space and the rock contracts. And in doing this, it kind of breaks off the outer edge of the rock. And we say it's like a skin of an onion coming off. So it's a physical type of weathering based, um, it's not using chemicals, based on heating and cooling of rock that causes the outer edge to break off. And we're gonna try using the Bunsen here with this beaker of water to speed up that process. So I've got, uh, two sedimentary rocks here, both are good for showing this. We're going to start with the chalk and we may go on to sandstone. So we're going to heat that just like it would be heated in the heat of the day from the sun. And this won't actually change the size of the particles, but it will give the particles more energy and they'll vibrate more, taking up more space. And that causes the... Um, rock to expand slightly and then when we plunge it into the water pulls it down and we can see some of that rock has already broken off okay and then we go on to daytime two where it's getting hot again and you can actually see close here there's a bit there that's about to break off okay so particles getting hotter taking up more space, rock expands, and then at night it gets a lot colder, and it uh, makes the particles lose energy, and the rock contracts. Particles same size, taking up less space. Let's try with the sandstone. It's less obvious with the sandstone, because it's a harder rock. Even at sedimentary, it's harder than the um, the chalk there, we might get to see some um, loss of rock there. And this obviously will happen a lot slower in reality. The rock doesn't change temperature quite as dramatically as it is using a Bunsen burner. Let's have a look. Yet we have got, I can see some uh, little bits coming off of that rock and going into the water. We could actually put this on the scales before and after to see just how much rock is lost from the surface each time we do this. We could put it on the scales before and then after and calculate the difference. And again, some more has crumbled off there. I'm going to do it one more time, but this one I'm going to zoom in on that beaker so that you can see the bits crumbling away. Okay. Hopefully you can see some bits crumble off there. Okay, so let's just put that back onto the safety flame and take that out. And let's just have a summary of what we've talked about. So here we've got the physical weathering that we call onion skin weathering and we can see that in the daytime the sun heats the surface of the rock causing the rock to expand. Okay, Even if we don't understand everything about what particles are doing, we know the rock expands. Okay, And it's because those particles have got more energy where they got hot and they are um, taking up more space which causes it to expand and at night it cools down and that rock contracts and here's the onion skin effect okay so we've got the outer edge just like an onion uh, one layer of an onion skin crumbling away and it causes it to weather hope you found that interesting thank you